Vegas mayor is now the youngest candidate exploring a run for governor. 30-year-old mayor Aaron Stewart of New Britain was first elected to the top job in the hardware city at the age of 26. She launched her campaign on Facebook yesterday, and today she sat down with chief political correspondent Mark Davis to explain why she thinks the time is right for her to move up to statewide office. Mark. Hi, Darren and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. This means there are now... Uh, I think it's 15 Republican candidates that are running, uh, that have announced or are exploring for the Republican nomination for governor. The extremely outgoing young mayor has now been elected three times in this heavily Democratic city and says she's running because too many of her young friends seem to be leaving the state. Not seeing this real true excitement for any one candidate um, thus far, I think um, made me realize that maybe it is time to step up to the plate. But Stewart is not the only Republican woman running. State Senator Tony Boucher of Wilton, a 20-year veteran of the Connecticut legislature and local town government before that, has been campaigning and raising money, exploring a race for governor since last September. So do you think that Senator Boucher, who's a highly regarded Republican politician in her own right, and the 14 others are just not up to the job? I just don't know uh, how they uh, run, I guess, in a state that's heavily independent, that's heavily Democrat. Um, how do you be successful as a Republican candidate in the state of Connecticut running on more than just, I'm not Dan Malloy? That does not win this election. She says the state labor unions must be part of the solution to the state's constant budget crisis. She says her ability to secure concessions from city unions shows she has the know-how to do it amiably as she was endorsed by those unions several times. That was because I was honest with them uh, and I brought them to the table as a true partner in working to solve New Britain's financial problems. She also told me today that she is not opposed to highway tolls, but she wants more information before making a final decision on that issue. Uh, she is going to get married. She is engaged. It has been scheduled for November, but it's after Election Day. And you do need more than two hands to count on your fingers the number of Republican candidates. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.